now the next part is clone the virtual machines okay so we have completed the prerequisite for the node one now we have to make the changes for node two also so we have to shut down the virtual machine and then we have to go to these tabs and do the changes so i will come to this machine okay just stop this machine this is done now i will go to the tab and check the instructions first shut down the vm that is we have already done then in the virtual box manager window start clone wizard and main menu machine clone okay so we go to the machine there is something called clone right this is what we have to choose the main menu go to the machine then clone type the rack to clone type the name as a rack to okay so we'll be using this path as okay next one is make sure reinitialize all the max okay and click the next keep full cloning okay click on full clone we have to click on full clone and once it is done so let it start so basically it will take certain time let it finish uh, in meanwhile i will be taking pause here uh, once it is finished i will show what we have to do next okay So as we can see, rack two is uh, cloning has been completed, and rack two is uh, created over here. And so first we'll verify all the parameters that is defined in this. As its name is rack two, 64 bit and 4 GB of RAM has been allocated, and then you can see the uh, naming convention is given as a rack two dot VHD. 60 GB of spaces is also there. Three network adapter is there. Okay. So everything is completed. Now we will follow up the further instruction and do the changes. So start the cloned VM that is rack two and log into the root users and make the certain changes in the configuration. Okay, so I'll start this rack two and then we'll follow up the further instructions. It is getting initiated. So basically we have to modify the network IPs and then we have to change the so our we have to log into the root user click on our password we have to provide and once it is done we log into the terminal we'll open the terminal so basically we can see the host name as a rack one so our first target will be changing the host name okay so what what i will follow is there is some commands nmcli general then host name. so it will print out the host name okay we'll try to copy that command paste it out here so it is throwing you the host name information okay so change using this command okay again we'll fire the command it is showing you the change name as a rack two but for the permanent changes you have to run this command restart option okay So 
this is also completed. We'll check the IP. That is information. What is the current configuration for the IP addresses? So we we can see the IP addresses is allocated. Uh, this is for connecting from outside. So through this mo mobile extreme, you can connect through using that this IP. Okay, and uh, basically we have to modify. network configuration so we go to the wired setting there is a small correction that we have to do because the ip addresses that we have given that we need to modify okay so we'll go to the network setting Click on IPv4. Here we have given IP address 192.168.10.1. So we have to modify this IP addresses to 10.2. Okay. So we'll <coughs> modify this IP address 10.2. Then click on apply. Click on start. Similarly, we have to modify this one, this one also. Here we have to give it the IP asset 72. Click on apply. Just click on start. Okay. So these two IPs are reflecting now. Okay. <clears throat> so what we'll do, we'll restart this machine once again. So these changes are done. We'll restart and again, we'll start the node one also, and then try to ping both the nodes from each nodes and see if they are reachable or not, okay? So at this junction, we are ready with two separate nodes. <clears throat> 